Good afternoon world and welcome to Manila's cheapest five-star hotel. We actually googled what would be the cheapest five-star hotel in Manila and this is what came up. It's called New Coast. We have just checked in. Very smooth check-in process. Not much to do. Story wasn't feeling very well. She got a bit car sick and the staff were very friendly on the way in which was very nice of them. They brought her bottles of water and it was all very professional, so I'm quite impressed with the service so far. Okay. We are staying high up on the eighth floor, went past a few restaurants and also past the fitness centre. And we are now just walking up towards our room and we're going to do a little room tour. The cheapest five star hotel in Manila. And there's a criminal spyglass. A criminal spyglass, is yeah. that what you call it, yeah? Welcome to the New Coast. Hotel. Do you want to show us around? Yes. Bag seat. A bag seat. Well, you can just <laughs> sit here. You can also put your butt on it, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Here is the bathroom. All right, we're starting in the bathroom. Today. Quite a lovely bathroom. Tell me about the bathroom. So, oh, I didn't notice a shower. That's quite a big shower. Yeah, do you want to have a look inside there? It's a bath. It's a bath. <laughs> So okay. we specifically chose this room because we knew that it would have a bathtub. Okay, so this is the bathroom that I haven't explored yet. Oh, imagine if like, mummy came in here to have a shower and I wanted to have a shower with mummy. I could go in here. Yeah, look, it's massive. It's lots of space in here. All three also, of us can fit like, in here. This is like a really deep one. It is deep, isn't it? So it's shorter than usual, but it's actually really deep, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Like you can go in the water. <laughs> that is interesting. I've never seen a bathtub that deep before, have you? Yeah, that's actually nice. This is like the headrest. You can do a little non-slip mat there if you think you're going to slip over. Guess what the weirdest thing about the bathroom is? Tell me. You'll never ever guess this. I won't guess it. There's a <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't imagine why you'd need to be in direct communication with the hotel staff while you're doing a poo. Oh, wow. we. Yeah. Fall over. Ah, safety. Yes, there yes. We go. Right, let's finish up in here because yes. there's some little five star amenities in here that, okay. you know, we're doing a room tour. Let's, let's do it properly, story. Come okay. on. <laughs> Look, toothpaste. Okay. All so, right. mini toothpaste. So you don't need to bring your own. Yeah, so we've got a little treasure box. Box here, yeah. Treasure Ooh. box. We've got a shaving kit, toothbrush, vanity kit, which is probably cotton buds and cotton wool, maybe, so what yeah. it usually is. We've and got a body lotion, a hair dryer, and interestingly, a weighing scale. Yeah, what? I've never seen a weighing scale in a hotel before. Yeah. I actually haven't looked in here. Mm. It's a lovely. Oh yeah, that's safe. Lovely, your lovely. valuables. Oh, the light comes on by itself. Oh, yeah. Look at those amazing gowns. We have to put these on, Sash. Oh, yes. We actually have pockets on the gowns. Yes, that is amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Nice big pockets, and it's so soft. Story. Oh. Feel it. Oh, yes. So cozy. Oh, no. <laughs> It's a shame you don't have your own little one as well. Oh, yeah. You're just going to have to cuddle into that one. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Another thing about this room is that we actually have an ironing board. Iron. It's stuck up there, there. If you look down as well, there's a shoe shiner and a oh, shoe yeah. horn. Yeah, shoe shiners. Mm. Another thing I noticed is, you know those twistable mirrors where it's like big face, small face? Oh. Is big face? But I don't think it spins around to small face. Big face. Right, show us the bed story. The bed is amazing. Look how you feel how soft this is. Yeah. Wow. So we're all in the one bed tonight. This is a king size bed. Good enough for three. Yeah. Ah, two adults and a little one. <laughs> Workspace with some abstract art, and that is a sideways trick. Oh, I see. It's Manila. Oh, is that what it is? I think it is because when you look sideways, it looks like the Manila Tower is the blue bit. Okay. And that 
Green blob is the tree. Looks like broccoli to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's Dora's interpretation. And television. Yes. Lovely, quite, clean television. Quite big. Of these coziest chairs I've ever sat in. Let's try. We'll have one each. Oh, yes. That's nice. Hey, this is Take mine. Coffee here. Coffee in the morning. <laughs> oh, some lovely English tea. Oh, oh great. <laughs> That is actually your favourite tea, isn't it, Story? Not anymore. Used to be. Mint. Oh, you like mint tea now, yeah. do you? So the room is actually 35 square metres. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, it takes about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps to get to the other side. And that's without including the little hallway and entrance bit. You guess where I'm going? Why do you look so excited? Yeah, guess where I'm going? Definitely the bath. Yes! Sorry! <laughs> Go on then, get ready for your bath. When we booked this hotel, we did intend to go the full shebang and get the airport transfer as well. But for some reason, they didn't actually respond to that request at all. And we then later found out just before we came here that the airport transfer fee was like something like 2,800 pesos. So when we got to the airport, we weren't sure if there was going to be someone waiting for us or not. And but there wasn't. There wasn't. <laughs> I'm kind of glad because we managed to get here in the taxi for about 400 pesos anyway. Yeah. And we're just looking at some of the amenities. There's a spa. Very reasonable. Just to give you an idea, for a Swedish massage, one hour is 1,500 pesos. For a five-star hotel in the city, it's quite reasonable, I think. Yeah, so that's about, what, 25 pounds in British money? Yeah, right. And do you remember how much it cost to have one done in the Sofitel? Yes. It was like 9,000 pesos, oh, I wow. think. It was a lot. That's seven, like... No, maybe 7,000. I don't remember. It was a Christmas gift from my dad to me. But I remember looking at the prices going, wow, this is pricey. So that's the difference um, in price of like from like 25 pounds to 150 yeah. pounds or something. So here you can also get a hot stone massage, which is an hour and a half. So it's a good time. And it's only 2,000 pesos. That is good. Um, there's reflexology. You can have hand or foot. A hand reflexology is 1,200 pesos. Choose your essential oils. You know, it's a proper spa. There's body scrubs, a pink Himalayan body scrub with massage, 2,000 pesos. So I think, yeah, that seems pretty good and it's open till 1 a.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you up to in here? Ah, <laughs> oh, I see. Ready for your bath to be ready. There's absolutely a lot of bubbles in there. Can I show you? Go for it. We chose not to have the breakfast included because we're a vegan family and often when you get free breakfast they'll only have a limited choice so we decided that better to not take that and pay for it if they have good options. It's about 850 pesos for the breakfast per day per person. Looking at the in-dining menu, Sasha said that there wasn't actually any vegetable options at all. Everything has got some kind of meat in it or some kind of cream or egg. So it's not many vegan or there is no vegan option at all. Just sat down at the office desk. Ooh, look at that, nice light. To do a little bit of a shout out for you guys. So today's shout out goes to Fuyuki. Hey Fuyuki, thank you for becoming a member of our channel. If you guys want to know how to get a shout out of your own, there is a link in the description and you can join our members club and we put a name at random and do a shout out in every vlog. Today's one is for Fuyuki. Now you guys are probably wondering how much is Manila's cheapest five star hotel? And I'm actually not going to tell you yet. I'm going to tell you at the end. But for now, why don't you take a guess? How much would this cost you in pesos? So far, I'm quite impressed with the room and everything that's in here. From what I've read, it used to be a well-known hotel chain and they bought it out and they just kind of renovated it a bit. It doesn't feel too old. It doesn't feel too new either, but so far, so good. But I think the most impressive thing has been basically the staff at this point. We're going to be heading out in a minute to check out the food situation. Still is actually trying out the shoehorn. Yep. How is it? Great! Tricky. Before heading down for food, we just wanted to check out the pool and fitness centre. This looks very cool. Look, look, Yeah? There's a swimming. A what? A swimming pool. Oh, cool. We just checked it. This jacuzzi is actually warm water. Yeah, let's do it. 
I think this is the first heated pool we've actually had in the oh. Philippines, isn't it? Yeah. They never heat the pool. I've not seen a jacuzzi like this as well either. Yeah. First time. And there's a pool bar as well. They have a happy hour. You can get a beer buckets. I think it's five beers and you get a free finger food. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, still in the room, just said she wanted onion rings, and guess what they have here? Onion rings. Onion rings. <laughs> so maybe later. Yeah. The fitness centre was impressive as well, but we're not allowed to film down there. Yeah. Did see though that you can hire a personal trainer for a thousand pesos. That's really good. Imagine that having an hour's personal training yeah. session in a five-star hotel. Yeah, that was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the market cafe. Let's try it out. That was a lovely restaurant, but they didn't have any vegan options or any vegetarian options, so we're going to try a different one. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, beautiful food. I see some macarons. Yeah. Wow. Just came over to have a look at some of the wines and their prices. Some of them are okay, some of them are very expensive. The, a lot of choice here though. I'll be honest, I feel a little bit out of place in this beautiful restaurant. Story absolutely loves this chandelier. It's very beautiful. Nice setup they've got. We're already back in the room. Despite both of those restaurants looking very fancy, it was quite disappointing. They didn't have any vegetable options at all. And even the coffee didn't come with non-dairy milk or any soy milk or anything like that. So we figured we would go up to the swimming pool now. Maybe we'll have to get food outside of the hotel. Yeah, I think for dinner, we haven't had a proper meal today. Yeah. So I'm feeling a little bit like, oh, I just want something nice. So I think we'll head out for dinner. But we know there is a mall quite close that we can walk to. So we might have to try that later. Well, for a five star hotel to not have any vegan, vegetarian or non-dairy options is quite disappointing. It's no, it's rare, isn't it? Well, maybe not here. This is the first time we've ever stayed in a five star hotel in Manila. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, there, there wasn't even a vegetable section. Yeah. On the, <laughs> you couldn't even get some like normal, just plain vegetables and rice. There was nothing. No. That is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> How warm is it? Oh Hot. Oh, this takes a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, it's baking, isn't it? Proper jacuzzi. Wow, toasty. <laughs> Sorry, I think the last time you were in a hot tub was when you were one years old. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. It's the really nice. Are quite powerful. They are, they're making me feel like I'm lifting up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I am impressed. So what happened was we went to find the Chinese restaurant on the fifth floor and it was completely closed. So we've actually tried all the restaurants now in the hotel and they didn't have any options for us. So we are looking for food out on the streets. Okay, this is the closest place nearby. There's a Persian restaurant here. It looks like it's open. If you want to have a peruse at the menu. Let's have a look. Finally, first proper meal of the day. We've got some yummy hummus here. It all looks very authentic. That parsley looks epic. And I love these little croutons on top of the salad here. I am cobbling this down. You are. You look super tired though. You're going to have a nice Aww. sleep tonight in a nice comfy bed. <laughs> Food has arrived. <laughs> we went overboard on the rotis. Look at that, we got one each, and it comes with a little curry sauce to dip in. Get a taste test. Good. And then we have some biryani rice, which has got raisins and peanuts on the top. Happy? Yes, so nice. <laughs> try, try that sauce. Strawberry's also got a barley soup. Is it nice? Yes. Good. It is getting darker outside. Story is having her book read for the evening and we are all winding down and we want to talk to you guys about prices. So the meal out that we just spent was about 2,500 pesos. So not cheap, but at least we are satisfied with our meal. They had lots of vegan options and the price of the room. So to stay in the cheapest five-star hotel in Manila, 
It cost us, with taxes, 7,777 pesos. Bit of a weird number, but that works out to about 108 British pounds per night. So my question is, do you think that's worth it from what you've seen? I feel like the standard of this place for that price compared to Western prices is pretty good for a five-star hotel. But I also feel like when you look closely at some of the details, you can see that it needs a little bit of work and therefore I think that the price is justified. For a bit of context, that price, about almost 8,000 pesos, you could rent a house for a month in the north of Chargell and in comparison you could stay here for one night so of course we understand it's still a lot of money but we wanted to try out something different we wanted to show you guys what was available here i hope you enjoyed the content i've really enjoyed making it we are checking out tomorrow we can't afford a second night <laughs> but we're going somewhere fun as well so story's gonna love it you guys are gonna love it and we will see you in the next one Bye.